A big thanks to Master Build for sponsoring this video. Let's use rotten garlic to make a delicious steak. What happened to this garlic? How come it turned from this garlic into black dark dried garlic? It all started eight weeks ago with this ultra cheap rice cooker. I loaded it up with dried garlic and then I set it in the warm hold position. So not the rice cooking position, but at the setting where it keeps the rice nice and warm. And then I left it at that setting for eight weeks. I never expected this to work. And over time, the garlic started to look really, really bad, really rotten. But almost at the end of the eight weeks, it started to look beautiful again, like black garlic. I think the biggest question here is, why would you wait for eight weeks to turn delicious garlic into this black stuff. And the explanation is very simple. This has a beautiful umami flavor. It is dark, it is rich, and it reminds you of fermented things like beautiful fish sauces and Worcester sauce. I can understand that you still think that this is a weird idea, but just wait until I show you what I'm gonna do with it. First things first, I'm gonna fire up my master build smoker. I'm gonna open it up, load it up with lump wood charcoal, open up the ash drawer, Shake the ashtray, put in the fire starters, and light it up. Then switch it on and set it to a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. And these are the two steaks that I'm gonna be cooking. And as you might notice, these are not ordinary steaks. These are bife de cheddar, which means they are basically an entrecot in one piece and cut lengthwise, which give them this unique feature of having a beautiful fat cap. And another thing that you might notice is that it has a beautiful amount of intermuscular fat, but the meat looks very light. And that's because this is not beef, this is pork. And for pork, this is very dark. So that makes sense, right? This is a pork steak that almost looks like a veal steak. That's how high this quality is. This is from the Iberico pig. And that Iberico pig is well known for its amount of fat. I didn't notice it. No, eh? No. I, I thought you didn't. It, it definitely looks like veal. It doesn't have the price of Wagyu. It's, it's Iberico and it's affordable and it's delicious and you should try some, try it. I'm gonna stick in a thermometer to keep my eye on the temperature of this steak because I'm gonna use the reverse seared method, which means I'm going to smoke them first on my master build smoker. And once they're up to temperature, I'm gonna sear them off. I'm going to slide the steaks in on a tray. I'm going to set them over indirect heat and let them smoke. And I'm gonna add a chunk of smoke wood. This is apple wood, it goes into the ashtray and it's gonna provide my steaks with a beautiful smoke profile. And the time that it takes for the steaks to get up to temperature is perfect for me to turn this into something delicious. One is extremely hard and the other one is kind of tough in the texture. So one I've got to cut, the other, the other one I have to chop like that. And these days you can just get this in the supermarket. So you shouldn't have any trouble getting this. But if you do, then now you know you can make it yourself. And that's kind of cool. I like trying to make these things myself. And now I understand how it works and how I can play around with it. Not that it matters for the outcome of what we're doing. The flavor is going to be just the same. And it's kind of fun to do. I'm going to load the garlic into my blender. I'm going to grind it fine until I almost have a dust-like consistency. What a noise! But it's working! The whole thing's turning black! Let's see what that looks like. Wow. Chocolate. It, oh, well, I thought about coffee. This smells freaking insane. It's not like you have that intense garlic smell, but it became more, well, round, more variety of uh, fragrances, and less that overwhelming garlic experience. This is something really, really exciting. As someone that is fond of cooking and wants to understand flavors and how to work with them, there's always one important thing that you should never skip. Especially when working with something like this, you need to try it. Whoa. Wow. I've never had it intense like this before. There's a little bit of acidity. There's garlic there. There's actually a strong umami and it's really satisfying. Ooh. I'm going to take my chef's knife and I'm going to chop up some parsley. And that ends up to be about four to five tablespoons of fine chopped parsley, to which I'm gonna add 200 grams of creme fraiche, 200 grams of whole mayonnaise, 
a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground pepper, the juice of half a lemon, and a teaspoon of sugar. And now I'm going to add the black garlic powder. I'm going to add two tablespoons, and then mix it up. And I can clearly see it's going to need a little bit more of garlic. Normally I would just add one clove of fresh garlic to it, but this is less strong in flavor. So I'm gonna add another tablespoon. I think I might be going to be addicted to this stuff. Now I'm getting the color that I'm looking for. And I bet you if I wait long enough, that color is going to completely transform because that black garlic is going to give off its color and it's become more and more of a brown, dark sauce. And once it starts to give off its color, it also gave off its flavor. Whoa, seriously good. It needs a little bit more salt and a little bit more lemon. Oh, perfect. Time to take them off and let them rest. And of course, I'm going to turn the master build smoker into a grill station. I'm going to take out the grill grates, remove the manifold, and slide in the manifold for direct heat. The grill grates go back in. I'm going to let the barbecue come up to temperature. I'm going to flip the grill grates around, clean them up, season them, and then it's time to start searing off our steaks. As you might have noticed, this burner is so extremely hot that my seasoning burns off instantly. And that's where the mayonnaise, the black mayonnaise comes in handy. This stuff is basically 80 to 90% oil. And it's the seasoning for my steak to give it flavor. And it's going to make sure that it doesn't stick to the grill grates. I'm gonna brush it on. There we go. For the people that never heard of mayonnaise on steaks, it's what Michelin star chefs do to make their fish taste amazing. Look at that char, instant char on the steaks. Don't leave them on there too long. Not a quick brush of that mayonnaise. Quick flip, and that's all you need. Oh. Ooh. Look at that beautiful result. Awesome char, beautiful crust, delicious mayonnaise flavor on that steak, seasoning and all. And that's why it doesn't need any other seasoning. It's time to plate up. Of course, I want this to look like a piece of art. Go. A little bit of that black garlic sauce on top. A twig of parsley to create contrast. And some fermented garlic around the plate. Now tell me this doesn't look like one beautiful steak. But the big question is, what does it taste like? Let's slice into this. Whoa. Perfect cuisson for pork. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, what a great combination. The char from the grilling combined with the flavor of that black garlic sauce. Really, really fantastic. This is really good. Mm. You want a piece? 